close racing supply in Eldred, Pennsylvania has been in business since 1996, serving the motorsports industry with quality parts and components for dirt late models, modifieds, and stock lip race cars. Check out the expanded inventory at their new larger location or give them a call at 814-225-3250. In stock at Close Racing Supply are parts from the most popular manufacturers like All-Star Performance, Wears Machine, Dynamic Drive Lines, Winner's Performance, Willwood, Quick Car Racing Products, and many others. They also manufacture their own quality CRS race components. Check out the website at CloseRacingSupply.com or follow them on Facebook. For get up on your feet as we salute you with the Insinger Performance Modifieds 4 wide. Four car strong, missing one in the Eric Grice machine, down to 23. Jin and Petrabowski Sr. ready to bring it. They're side by side into turn number one. Jin Petrabowski Sr. Petrabowski Sr. is going to get the advantage as they head down the backstretch into turns three and four. Officially, A.J. Petrabowski Sr. leads lap number one of the Honor and Alice 55. Sponsored by B.H. Log Hauling. Tanner Van Doren, youngster from the Syracuse region, looking underneath the 84 Coots as yellow is out. I believe that's the Brandon Martin number one machine down there in turn number three. Petrabowski Sr., that 72X on the bottom. Joe Jin in that 3X on the high side, ready to bring us back to green. Petrabowski Sr. gets a good jump into turns one and two. Brady Fultz now looks underneath the Jin machine for second. Tanner Van Doren has worked his way around Coots. He's up to fourth. Now trying to make it three wide for position number two with Fultz and Jin. Petrabowski brings him down the back straightaway. Jin locked into that two spot. Fultz is third. Trouble Tan on the Dayton Brewer number 17 as he comes to a slow right at the top of turn number one. No, no, you're good. Job collecting lap money for this tonight's honoring Alice 5500 to win Insinger Performance Modifieds. Back green. Great restart for Brady Bolt Fultz who pulls alongside Joe Jin for second. Now a couple of invaders battling it out for fourth and fifth. Eric Rudolph and Tanner Van Doren. Got him stacked up two by two. Is there three wide just behind him there? A.J. Petrabowski Jr. And there's contact here on the front straightaway. Adam Coots got into the wall. That allows Tag, Petrabowski, and Tyler Seary to make their way by. Yeah, A.J. Petrabowski Jr. Winner Saturday night, four-time feature winner. Started this one in the back in 14th. I guess that was more in the middle. That is working his way up to the front. Side-by-side -side battle right now between Tanner Van Doren and Eric Rudolph. Van Doren beating the doors off the cushion in three and four for whatever it's worth. Holds on to fourth, now going after Brady Fultz here for third. Three-wide battle for position number three as Jin starting to pull in the Petrabowski senior machine. Here on lap number seven. Side by side, they're gonna go into one and two. Joe Jin, your 2022 track champion, trying to motor that DKM fabrication Insinger performance modified around the high side as yellow is out. Yellow is out, I believe, for the 22 of Gil Tag. Is Tag is a, I believe that's Tag around in turns one and two, and Braden Bills slows to a stop to avoid contact. Back 
to green here off of turn four. Petrovowski, he's been spot on on these restarts. And Joe Jin, oh, look at him, three wide for second. Here comes Tanner Van Doren. Tanner Van Doren puts it down on the bottom, pulls alongside Brady Fultz for position number three as we got Cartwright around in front of the field. Ron Cartwright around in front of the field, got him stacked up like cornwood behind him. So Petrabowski Sr. on the hammer. Single file we go here on lap number seven. 48 remain. It's Tanner Van Doren moving up to the high side, trying to find a little bit of a grip for that 0-1 machine. Currently in fifth, trying to work his way back around Eric Rudolph as we're three wide for second out of the corner. Joe Jin's gonna hold on to the spot. Yeah, Tanner Van Doren, Joe, he's up there trying to dust off that Billy Van Pelt lane from years from years ago. And look at him throw that car down under the bottom now into three. Or Steve, as we call it now, that might be the Joe Jin line as that is where Joe Jin loves to ride as he is running down A.J. Petrabowski Sr. on that exact same line. Jen now goes to the top side. Rudolph takes over the third spot away from Fultz. And now here's Jen with a battle here for the lead. Jen running that high line, using the momentum around the Woodhall Raceway. Pulls right alongside the back bumper of the 72X of Petrabowski Sr. Coming out of four, Petrabowski Sr. has him at the line. But Joe Jen knocking on the door. Yeah, Petrovowski is able to fend off the advances off of two and four. Just enough to break Jin's momentum. Although Jin got a good run that time off of four. Coming out of four, side by side, oh! contact on the front stretch. Petrovowski Sr. moves up into Joe Jin. Joe Jin bounces hard off of the wall. So Joe Jin making a pass for the lead. Petrabowski Sr. moves up to block. Joe Jin goes into the wall. Yeah, tough luck early on in the season, but coming off of a third place finish this Saturday, second place finish a couple of weeks ago, we're back green. Petrabowski Sr. leads the field down the front stretch into turn number one. Tanner Van Doren quickly moves up to the high side, trying to work his way around Brady Foltz. Van Doren going to test the outside lane here into three and four once again. Lawson says, you go right ahead and try that outside. I'll take the bottom here. But Van Doren still putting pressure here on Fultz. Yeah, Tanner Van Doren looking to move into the top or the top three position onto the podium. But out front, A.J. Petrabowski Sr. continues to lead the way. Tanner Van Doren may have officially got by Brady Fultz here on lap number 13. We're heading down the backstretch. He's going to pull that L1C machine around the 88 as they head into three and four. And that might work right now for Van Doren in the O1, but I question how long can you do that in a 55 lap race? If he's got hard tires on, yeah, he could do that all race long. But I suspect that starting as, up, you know, as, as far up front as he did, I suspect he's not going to be able to do that for very long and make those tires last 55 laps. Yeah, a tire decision I'd like to know the answer to right now is Danny Creedon trying to move up towards the front, fighting with Ron Cartwright. He's going to move to the high side, then drift down into the bottom in three and four. We're trying to get into the seventh position as he's working his way forward. Yeah, Danny Creedon. I'm sure he was not concerned about starting 15th tonight in a 55 lap affair. He's going to quietly pick his way through the field. And that's what he's done right now to get himself to the eighth spot. Trying to track down Cartwright as we've got a car in trouble on the top of one and two. And it's I believe Tanner Van Doren. Tanner Van Doren in that 01C. Comes to a slow at the top of turn number two.
Is Petrobowski Sr. ready to lead the field back to green here on lap number 17? Stacy Jackson all over the back bumper of Donnie Lawson trying to work into position number four. Moves that BH log hauling number two up to the high side. Dropped a drive shaft out of that machine on Saturday. Got that all fixed up. He's trying to work his way towards the front. Yeah, Jackson now working that top lane, working on Lawson here to turns three and four. That's the battle for fourth. Behind him, you've got Cartwright and Creedon. But right now, Jackson trying to work high. Now he'll switch back and go to the low lane. Oh, Jackson had a problem there into turn one. Gathers it back in. Cartwright made a little bit of contact, and now instead of a battle for fourth, it's a battle for fifth. Is out front, A.J. Petrobowski Sr. clicks off lap number 20. Watched his son win four times at the Woodhall Raceway. Has yet to do so, trying to hold off the invader, the 25 of Eric Rudolph. Rudolph ran, runs just about any place in the Northeast. Brady Fultz still running in third. Donnie Lawson holding tight for fourth. Stacy Jackson though reeling in Lawson, trying to work his way back up towards the front after that early jingle in turn number two. I'll tell you what, Joe. What, oh, one of the fun battles to watch right now is Petrobowski Jr. and Tyler Seary. Petrobowski gave him a big old kick in the keister to turn number three last time as they've been trading paint for a couple laps, but now Petrobowski, he's got company. Here comes Russell Morseman. Yeah, Petrobowski and Senior really no love loss, or in Siri, excuse me, really no love loss between the two. Dates back quite a while. Yeah. But Petrobowski Jr. may have done himself a little worse for wear as Russell Morseman sneaks by in that CP Carrillo 44. As we got the 84 of Steve Coots going around on the backstretch. He's able to keep the 84 machine going the right direction, but now he's trying to stay on the lead lap as Petrobowski Sr. is right on his back bumper. Yeah, that was Coots on Coots combat over there in turn two. They both gather it back in, but they've got company here come the leaders. Petrobowski and now Rudolph trying to take advantage here in lap traffic. Rudolph gonna have a little bit of trouble as Coots moves up in front of the 25 of Rudolph. But Rudolph trying to run that high groove. Can't make it work to get around Coots. Now around goes the 82 of Wally Wade. Hard contact with the Adam Coots 84. Petrobowski Sr. ready to lead the field to the green flag. Green back out here on lap number 26. Single file they go into one and two. Petrobowski leads through. Oh, contact there going into turn number one. It's Cartwright and Creedon. The 16X, the 2B, they trade a little paint into turn one. Now Creedon will try the top side. Oh, now he's going to try to get a run off the bottom of turn four. Dan Creedon knows how to work his way around a bull ring. Doesn't want a bunch of races. Has won some here. Tyler Seary around on the front stretch. As Petrobowski Sr. ready to lead the field back to green. Petrovowski with another great restart here. Rudolph, Fultz, Lawson, Jackson all in tow there in the top five. Dan Creedon tried to move that 16X machine up to the high side. Almost opens the door for the one of Brandon Martin. It's now Stacy Jackson into the high groove. Pulls alongside the 11 of Donnie Lawson. That battle is for position number four. Jackson's going to blow by him as the two... The, Two machine, the BH log hauling number two of Stacy Jackson has seemed to have found something on the high groove of the racetrack. Safely into fourth. Now he's going to drop it down into the bottom of one and two as he tries to now pick off the 88 of Brady Fultz. Up on the high side, pulls alongside Fultz through three and four. Fultz able to drive away down the front stretch here on lap number 21.
Stacy Jackson was running that high line, had a run on Brady Foltz, got a little bit too high in three and four. Foltz able to pull away once again, but Stacy Jackson continues to try to close the gap running that high groove. And Joe, I think it's gonna take a long green flag run here. He's gonna continue to try to make it work here as he goes down to the bottom of one and two. And let's see, does he go back to the top at three and four? Looks like he's going to. Yeah, Stacy Jackson seems to have a faster car than Brady Fultz, but cannot motor his way around the Edison Eagles 88. As Brady Fultz is just sitting down there on the bottom, not opening the lane for Stacy Jackson. So Petrabowski continues to lead over Rudolph, Fultz, Jackson, Lawson continues to hold on to the top five. And right there with him, Cartwright in the 2B, Creedon in the 16. And you gotta wonder here, is Rudolph, is he just kind of sitting and waiting here with 20 laps to go? Yeah, Eric Rudolph, way more extra distance races under his belt than the 72X of A.J. Petrowski Sr. Have to wonder if he's playing a little bit of possum, not showing his cards early on. Going to let the laps dwindle down a little bit and then maybe make a move. And for Petrowski, he knows who's back there now. He knows it's Rudolph in the 25. And Petrowski here with less than 20 to go, now 18 to go. He's gonna start going into protection mode here and try to keep uh, hugging that bottom. You saw him kind of lift off the throttle a little bit off the four to make sure he had that bottom lane pinched down. Yeah, I would say if Eric Rudolph is gonna make a move, he might wanna start doing, thinking about doing it a little quickly as the 72X of Petrobowski Sr. is doing a great job getting through the corner. And AJ being real disciplined right now, doing everything he can to keep those left side tires as close to the ditch line as possible. But you can see he's really given up a lot of time on the entry to the corner. You see Rudolph eating him up on entry. That's the difference right now. Yeah, Eric Rudolph really, really throwing in that Highmark NMCC 25 machine hard into the corner. Catching the 72X of Petrobowski Sr. as they tick off lap number 41. And you know what's different too, Joe, that I'm seeing what Rudolph is doing? Even though we're going to watch him, he's going to throw that car into the corner. Look how straight the car is. It's not pitched out sideways. That is a veteran driver right there who's run, like you said, a lot of these extra distance races. He's found a way to still have speed in the car, but not kick it sideways and just eat at those tires. Yeah, Eric Rudolph trying to work around the 72X of Petrobowski, but he is just sticking hard on the bottom. 12 laps to go in this one will be 11 when AJ Petrobowski Sr. passes the strike this time by. And Joe, I think Fultz and Stacy Jackson are starting to turn the wick up here. I don't know exactly what lap you've got to go, but I think it's coming soon because Fultz and Jackson have really turned the wick up on the leaders and has closed within a couple car lengths here as we've now got 10 laps to go. Yeah, 10 laps to go in the 2023 edition of the Honoring Alice 5500 to win in Singer Performance Modified Race. AJ Petrobowski Sr. continues to lead the field. Stacy Jackson tries to make a move to the high side, trying to find the right way around the 88 of Brady Fultz. And you can even see Fultz starting to change his line a little bit. He was really protecting that top lane coming off of turn number four. And so it's interesting, the leaders all run in the bottom lane, but third and fourth, they got to do something different. What do they say? You got to go where the leaders are. And that's what they're trying to do right now. Unfortunately, it's just not working right now. Yeah, the bottom is the place to be. A.J. Petrobowski Sr. holding hard onto that very bottom of the Woodhall Raceway, trying not to allow the 25 of Rudolph to sneak by, who's gaining on him as they exit corner number two. And right now, Joe Petrowski seeing something out the front rock screen he does not want to see. And that was lap cars side by side. Now, these cars are racing for position, but with six laps to go, Joe, they just might catch them before this one's over. Yeah, you can see the big right hand of John Stewart coming down 
five more times around AJ Petrobowski Sr. trying to win the honoring Alice 5500 to win. And Stacy Jackson side by side with Brady Fultz. That's for position number three. Fultz able to power on by on the back stretch. Yeah, that was the best run that Jackson's had on the top side of one and two. It didn't quite pay off, but he's going to keep trying it here. With four laps to go, he's going to give it everything he's got here. It, it is a little bit better, but it's still not enough to get him around Fultz. Yeah, three laps to go. Not sure if they will catch the seven of Brian Doolittle. Oh, look at the run Jackson got. Jackson, a good run out of turn number two, side by side with Fultz. Parallel sticks in the air, A.J. Petrobowski Sr. Two more trips around, trying to win a cool $5,500. Rudolph going after, oh, Jackson, a big push into turn one, and he might be in trouble, Joe. Trouble on the BH log hauling number two of Stacy Jackson. AJ Petrobowski Sr. ready to bring him back to green. Coming out of four, two laps to go. Another dynamite restart there for Petrobowski. That has been his bread and butter all night long. And now he'll take three car lengths to turn three. Opens up the gap on the 25 of Eric Rudolph. Petrobowski Sr. picks up the white flag. Has yet to visit Pepsi Victory Lane in 2023. Comes out of turn number two. Motors down the backstretch. Opens up the gap on the 25 of Eric Rudolph. Works his way into turn number three. Comes out of four. AJ Petrobowski Sr. wins the 55. 500. It's undone, climbing up out of the car, AJ Petrobowski Sr. Well, AJ, uh, I said it when you were getting out of the car. You've uh, you watched your son stand here in Pepsi Victory Lane a lot of times this season. Must feel pretty good to be here with the big money on the line. Yeah, it does. Uh, I was beginning to think I was a little old there for a little bit. You know, I uh, I was having a hard time seeing in the the first 20 of that lap. You know, you catch the back of the field, and although the track's smooth, it's dry, but it's really dusty. You know, and uh, it was tough. Yeah, it seemed like restarts were really your uh, bread and butter Go, uh, during the feature event tonight. There'd be a caution, somebody would be right behind you after that. you just pull right ahead on a restart. Yeah, Chad, I, Eli started doing our motors halfway through the year last year, and that just that took our program to a whole other level. We just got this motor back. Um, it pulls good. You know, it's built specially for Woodhall, and uh, it's actually my kid's motor. He let me borrow it tonight. And uh, we got her done. Were you getting a little worried when you had uh, about five laps to go? You saw a couple of uh, Woodhall regulars battling for position side by side in front of you. Yeah, no, I don't. You, all you can do here is, is hit your marks. If a guy's good enough to ground you on the outside, there's nothing you can do. So uh, all I did was hit my marks, stayed on the bottom. And and uh, I knew when Rudolph was behind me there, he's, he's clean enough where he's not going to drive down and dump you. He's a professional, you know, so, so that helps. Well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of their honoring Alice 5500 to win, A.J. Petrobowski Sr.